The Eternal City hides incredible stories in every corner, like the Church of Santa Maria in Monticelli, where the mortal remains of St. Caesar de Bus rest. He lived in the 16th century and died in 1607. Founder of the Congregation of Secular Priests of Christian Doctrine, better known as the Doctrinaries, his work in the French Revolution had already reached Italy and Brazil before he died. Canonized on May 15, 2022, Caesar de Bus is considered a patron saint of the modern catechesis. Doing Christian doctrine was not something that involved only the mind, but the heart, the hands, the whole person. This is what the Pope says today. The catechist must be a person who goes out to meet others with his mind, his heart, his hands. Someone who experiences the church. At that time, 400 years ago, this was a new idea. The miracle that allowed the canonization was the grace granted to a 25-year-old girl hospitalized in Salerno for a cerebral hemorrhage who was diagnosed with fulminant meningitis. In Salerno, we have a community where there is a parish and we also have our own doctrinal additions for catechesis. A prayer chain was really created, both in the hospital together with relatives and in the church. Every night they prayed, asking for the healing through the intercession of Blessed Caesar. And well, from one moment to another, overnight, the whole situation was resolved and the girl woke up, immediately asking to smoke. She was a person who liked to smoke a lot and she was recovered, especially from the point of view of meningitis. It did not leave any serious damage like the doctors thought, considering the clinical situation. Adjacent to the Church of Santa Maria de Monticelli, the congregation has set up a free exhibit where personal objects and portraits of the saint can be admired. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.